after an officer came over and he says, Vitiglio, you mind your machine gun on a jeep, I put it on a ring, and Wallach, Haskell Wallach, you too, both of you, come with me. There was a huge hole in this bank. When we got there, I saw a huge hole in the bank. And uh, he, so he says, Vitiglio, you place your machine gun in that hole. And don't let nobody get in. I don't care who it is. Because, you know, sometimes the Germans, they dress as, a, as an officer of the United States Army. I don't want nobody in there, even if it's our officers. If they don't have my signature on it, you don't let them in. If they insist on they go down, shoot the kill. I said, yes, sir. And he told Wally, Wally, you go on the side over there. Watch for the, uh, those windows that nobody gets in. While I was sitting behind a machine gun, I said to myself, damn it, I wonder if there's any bills down there. I called Wally out and I said, Wally, go down there and see if you can find some green stuff over there. I'm talking about dollars. He says, F you, you go down there. I ain't going to go down there. That place is booby trapped. I said, come over here. Sit behind this goddamn machine gun. So I went down there uh, nice and slow, watching for wires. But I didn't see no wires around. I saw a bunch of drawers lined up over there where the clerks would be. So uh, I look around over there. There's no wires in those drawers either. But then I said, no, no, no. Let me get the hell out of here. So I went upstairs, and there was a bunch of wires outside, telephone wires. So I got a bunch of them wires. <laughs> so I went down and I touched all these drawers with those telephone wires. I went outside, and now I got all these bunch of wires coming in now. Some of the wires, the most, half of the wires were in the bank, half of them were with me. I went away from, from the hole and I, I pulled the first one. Nothing happened. Second one, nothing happened. I said, uh huh. Now I got to go down there. God damn it, maybe I'll find some green stuff. So I went down there eh? and I pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, nothing. And you see, stack of a thousand marks, thousand marks, two, two bins, there were thousand marks. The third bin was 500. The foot bin was a uh, hundred. I made a, a bunch, of, bunch of money like this, but tight, really tight bundle like that. And I rolled it up and I went out. While it goes to me, if you get got with that money, you're gonna get it. You're gonna you're gonna get it. I said, don't say nothing to nobody. We'll be all right, okay? The word was, if you get caught with that damn German money, you're gonna get punished. Like Wallach was saying. <laughs> there was some SS men in this huge factory, and there was there was a coat factory. They told us that there was SS guys over there. So I stayed behind the machine gun, and the three, the three other guys, that they went in, in a building. I was watching the to see, see if anybody coming out of there. And while I was sitting behind a gun, I saw an old man coming down to, under, through the fields, and I called him over, and I waved him over, you know. I said, come here, come here. And right away he goes, come out, come out, come out. I said, bullshit, come out. I said, put your hands down. Uh, so I got, a, I got the roll of money, and, uh, and I, uh, I went like this to him, and I handed it to him. He goes, nine, 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 nine. I got pulled my 45, and I said, take this goddamn money. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. So he took the money, and he's walking backwards for about a block away, about a block. And he's going, thank Shane, thank Shane, thank Shane, thank Shane. That was, that was the end of the money. <laughs>